I became interested in engineering by accident. I was in the newspaper business from about the sixth grade through the twelfth grade. I had a, a paper route and uh, one of the uh, carriers that I was rolling newspapers with suggested the uh, University of Houston. I might want to consider that. I applied for the University of Houston not knowing whether I'd be accepted or not and fortunately I was accepted. So I met my wife at the University of Houston in a freshman English class. We were married in 1969 while we were still at U of H. At times I didn't know if I would finish, but my wife kept pushing me on, she said, you can do it. And fortunately both of us succeeded. Graduated in 1971 with my bachelor's in civil engineering. And then I went to work with a company called Weiser Engineering. Probably 1972, I got my friend Bill Finley enticed to come over. By mid-70s, I decided if I want to go into geotechnical engineering, so I started the master's program. And uh, after I graduated with that, I decided to stay with what I've been doing in the 70s to start help Bill and I start the new company. We started out in the early 80s doing land surveying work, and then we progressed to doing uh, utility engineering type work uh, through the 80s. And then in the 90s, we diversified and we started doing uh, municipal engineering type work. And then going into the 2000s, they even diversified more so doing transportation engineering. There's probably about 15 or so different areas of expertise that the company offers uh, to their clients. A few years of the, like 2008, 2013, Bill and I were still employees, and Bill is still an employee there. And we were kind of mentoring uh, em new, em new employees, new engineers, and doing a lot of quality control work. And that kind of takes us to my retirement in 2013. With the growth of the company, Bill and I were able to contribute X number of dollars each year for about 10 years and developed a number of scholarships. I was notified about this award uh, back in late January. I received an email from the office from one of our uh, clerical staff and they were wanting me to attend a meeting to talk about some ESOP issues and I said to myself, uh-oh, and lo and behold, Dean was there, Russell was there, and a lot of my co-workers were there and uh, my wife came in the back door and I was shocked. I, I just, I, was, I didn't know what to say because uh, I helped set the criteria for this award and I never thought that I would be considered.